G'day people, it's Matt here from Matt Carve. So we are carving that skull on the left today and I'm going to carve it firstly in this. This is called Slippery Elm, I believe, and it's got quite a fascinating grain in it. It actually turned out to be quite sort of easy to carve. I thought it was going to be harder, but um, so I've done one skull and I thought I'd try and make it as easy as possible. So we've left out the teeth and we've got those funny kind of like shattered teeth happening there kind of melting i guess because uh, teeth probably on a skull is one of the hardest things you can sort of carve so the piece of wood we've got there is what is it 2.6 inches in length and one oh 0 0.8 inches times 0 0.8 inches so firstly we're going to round off the top and then we will get on with carving. You can sort of see there I'm sort of like showing you sort of like what the width is going to be like. And we're going to carve it like a wood spirit so we're going to sort of like use that angle on the front to sort of carve the nose in. You can sort of see the nose there. It's much like carving a wood spirit um, without eyes. And a few sort of like extra things going on there but we will cover that as we go along today so we're shaping the top with the cut saw flame burr the extreme one and sort of get just a sort of like a general roundness there and put sort of like the bridge of the nose pretty well not too far from the top you sort of got to use your sort of like um, imagination there on where it's going to go you can always change it a little bit as you go along so really the angle there is the nose and what I'm doing there is I'm just flattening out the forehead on the skull now we're putting in the bottom of the nose now the nose is quite different on a skull it sort of like goes halfway sort of up and then it goes on an angle downwards so just remember that but we don't have to worry about that just yet so um, when I carve wood spirits I tend to do the same thing as what I'm doing here is I'm sort of like creating the nose and then the eye sockets and I'm just using the end of the cut saw fine taper burr to create those sockets now that's a little bit small but we can increase that size as we go along you got to remember too the nose the bridge of the nose is really really going to fine down and you can sort of see it on the left how fine it is and so that will increase the size of the eyes as well getting that forehead right so it looks um well we've got the general shape in there so i'm just sort of like increasing the eyes slowly and sort of like it's sort of now that you kind of want to sort of like decide on what shape kind of sockets you want now if you were doing like a realistic skull that would be the shape of this normal skull but what you can do if, if you're doing a halloween skull is sort of like increase those upper edges towards the outside so you sort of look look like you're sort of like your eyebrows would be going down in the middle and then going up on the outside but you're just sort of using the shape of the eyes to sort of like accentuate that so i'll try and do it a little bit here so it's sort of like um giving it just a kind of like a little bit of an angry skull look i guess and you can sort of see there what i've done is the piece of wood is left still quite wide compared to the one on the left there so you sort of want to get those eyes in first and then we narrow down the shape of the wood sort of like to come to the eyes now what we're doing here is we're just kind of like roughing in a little bit of a frame that goes around the eye sockets and so then we can sort of like narrow down the sides to go to that frame yeah so we're going to just narrow that down you can sort of like hold your fingers over it so you can sort of see how narrow it's going to get there and just watch out for the sort of like that sort of um frame that goes back so sort of like on the glasses like i described before uh you can sort of see it there there's a few different angles to think about uh, but it sort of like goes around and then in where the eye socket is and then out where the cheekbone is 
and then back in again to meet the sort of like the jaw that goes down to the teeth. So we're just going to take uh, the outside of the head back down. We can do this pretty fairly straight at the moment and worry about the shaping a little bit later. So you can sort of see that part that I was talking about there, that um, sort of like rectangle, well, like line that goes back. We'll just put it in here, just we roughly put it in and then we'll sort of like uh, refine it as we go along. So I'm just going on the underneath there and do a little bit on the top. There you go. And you sort of just refine it. You see that part above, sort of like that little line that goes across, that sort of like goes inwards and then it goes outwards as it goes onto the top of the skull. And when you're refining the skull, you can sort of see that bit there is kind of like sticking out a bit. So I kind of like stick my thumb over it just to sort of like make it disappear and try and decide how much I'm going to take off. So um, that's what I'm doing there. Now what I'm showing you here is just on the one that I've already carved is that bottom part of the eye socket is quite flat whereas the top eyebrow part sort of like falls back just like on a wood spirit. So that bottom part sort of needs to get a little bit flatter on the one we're carving at the moment. So I'm just going to take a little bit of that out. And what that does is it brings the nose sort of further out as well so we don't have to worry too much about that to make it stick out a little bit more. So I'm just flattening that off there. And the next part we're going to look at is sort of that going up into the eye there. It's already kind of started forming there. And sort of maybe narrow down that nose as well where we're at it. And so I've been using these burrs quite a bit. They are like a flat T-shaped burr. And you can pull and push them and sort of use the face of them to sort of make things skinnier. So I'm just trying to make the nose a little bit skinnier there. And then also go into that eye socket so it sort of like stands out a little bit more. Now just cutting off the end of the nose, you kind of have to judge where it is. It usually sits a little bit below uh, the eye socket so it's not critical this uh, but you're like the end part of your nose is usually cartilage and so you know how it looks like on a skull it has those two holes so, so you can sort of see me there I'm really getting that narrow kind of nose happening there You know, just sort of really getting into that area there and it's just making the nose kind of quite narrow but not really really narrow and then I will put the holes in when I feel it's uh, pretty much complete and sort of reshaping the eyes with that Dremel wheel point burr. I'm not kind of sure what I'm pointing out there to be honest. This problem with talkovers you have this great idea when you're filming and oh yeah that's right okay so I'm looking at the sort of jaw as it falls down so you can see it on the left there and uh, we'll put in those crazy kind of like melted teeth so we'll just take away all of that wood with the Katzel flame burr so we're trying to make this as easy as possible um, to carve a skull I know a lot of people like carving skulls and if you can carve a wood spirit I think you could probably carve a skull you don't have to worry about eyes, which is good. I think if you get the eyes right and the nose right, uh, it's pretty much looks like a skull. So I'm using those T-shaped burrs again, and I'm just sort of like going in and pulling and pushing a little bit because there's that little narrow kind of, I guess it's a septum or something like that in the middle of the nose, sort of dividing it. And you kind of want to put that in because it looks quite cool. You know, if you're carving a bigger skull, you could probably get away with bigger uh, burrs. But these are really, really nice, these burrs. They're really good for like detail work like that, and they're quite a unique shape.
Okay, so we've sort of got up to this stage. I kind of think um, you're kind of looking at this. This probably needs to go a little bit narrower here, maybe. And then we will start putting in those things. Now, essentially, um, what I did here was I just sort of like um, used the cuts all fine taper burr and went through there. This is quite soft wood. So I'll probably do the same as so I'll go through there. So it sort of like looks like those teeth are kind of like uh, fragmented. If it was a solid bit of wood, it wouldn't look as good, I think. Now we're putting in those lines and just around kind of the mouth area you want to go a little bit deeper so it kind of submerges into it and then forms a hole in the wood. It's sort of like a bit of uh, playing around here um, with some other burrs. I go with smaller ones as well and just sort of try and um, make it. It's really hard to go do this, this and this. You kind of have to just sort of like do it and see how it turns out and just sort of like make choices based on what's happening at that time so there you can see i'm sort of like putting in another hole there just being quite careful you sort of want to sort of like uh, carry the lines on and sort of tidy them up as well so you can sort of use those on angles and that as well and you could use those inverted cone burrs as well to tidy things up as well and do a little bit of sanding at the end that's what I find uh, helps a lot it's still got a long way to go well no actually it doesn't have that long ago way to go hey but like if you're really enjoying this video if you could hit that like button it would really help me out because it sort of like uh, tells YouTube that this is a pretty good video and other people could watch it as well youtube really only responds to your responses to videos not how good this video is or isn't uh, they don't watch the videos they just sort of like and see uh, the responses to the videos if you get what i mean Okay, so here are all the skulls that I carved. This was the first one that I carved and this was out of that uh, red wood that I showed. Um, wasn't too happy with how it went. I carved it on the flat plane, which made the nose quite hard to stick out. So um, after I did this one, I did the next one on the corner. So I came up with this one here. It's a bit of a wood spirit kind of one. <laughs> Looks kind of weird though. But um, it's quite funny, it's quite cool. Um, could make that into a key ring because it's quite smooth all the way around. That I, I want to sort of like perfect this one as well, so I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do that. But pretty happy with these two. Um, yeah, so these are the two that I finally made. That's the one that I made in the video, and that's the one that was showing on the side over here. So, yeah. And if you want an uh, even easier cool. skull to carve, here is this two-dimensional carving here that I go into great detail. Check this video out and see you later.